What is the role of the fallopian tubes in reproduction and how are the tubes checked? The fallopian tubes are two in number, one on the right and one on the left. And that is the site where the egg and the sperm meet or the site of fertilization. The fallopian tube has finger-like projections which help to collect the egg once it is released from the ovary. Fertilization happens at the edge of the fallopian tube called the ampulla and the first four to five days of early embryonic development also happens in the fallopian tube. It's after this that the embryo migrates into the uterus. So this is the role of the fallopian tube. How we test for fallopian tube involves three tests. The most common test is called a hysterosalpingogram or HSG. Here a dye is injected into the uterus from below and an x-ray is taken. So if all is well, the dye will fill the uterus, fill the fallopian tubes and come out of it. If there is a block, it will go up to the block and stop. This test is done without anesthesia, is slightly unpleasant and may be painful, it's low cost and it's a good screening test. The other test to check the fallopian tubes is called a sonosalpingogram where saline is injected into the uterus and an ultrasound is done to see the fluid coming out of the tubes. Here it's difficult to assess whether the fluid is coming from the right or the left or both tubes. However, the test is quite simple, cost effective and painless. This is the advantage of SSG. The third test or the confirmatory test or the gold standard test is the laparoscopy where a dye is injected into the uterus from below once the patient is anesthetized and we are put in a telescope inside her abdomen through the navel and we are able to see the dye come out through the fallopian tube. So in case the HSG or SSG is ambiguous or abnormal, then we go for a laparoscopy. In women who have pelvic pathology, that is, if they have painful periods, painful intercourse or ultrasound shows any abnormal finding in the pelvis, then we go directly for a laparoscopy in such patients.